back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Lucy and I make beauty and lifestyle related videos. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you what I brought in New York. Um, I have taken like a lot of two weeks off of YouTube while I obviously went to New York and then I got really, really ill. Like, you probably can still hear it in my voice now, but my throat really hurts. So basically I was in bed all week. So I edited the vlog during that week, the New York vlog. And that should be up now, but if not, it'll be up soon. But it should be up. And today I want to share with you what I brought because I brought a lot of stuff, particularly makeup and sweets. Before we start the video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video. And don't forget to like. So, there's no point making this intro long. Let's get straight into the video. I'm going to do this by like categories, like sweets, chocolate, and then like clothes and makeup. But I'll tell you where I bought them from, like each shop where I bought them from, as I tell you each item. So, we're going to start with the most boring because I really hate this category, clothes, like... I'm a fashion student and I hate clothes, so I hate buying clothes. If someone buys me clothes, that's fine, but I don't like buying them myself. Nevertheless, I did buy four clothing items in New York. I'll start with the t-shirt. Oh, I don't have one of the t-shirts because it's in the wash, but I will tell you what it is, obviously. So this is the first t-shirt. It is a champion t-shirt. I don't know if you can see. Yeah. So it's just a navy blue t-shirt that says champion on and some other stuff with some other writing as well um i got this one in a big size so it's nice and baggy as i love baggy t-shirts and i got this one from tj maxx for only 5.99 so what a bargain and i didn't actually buy this one nikita brought it for me for valentine's day as we were in new york for valentine's day and didn't have a chance to buy presents before so she brought me this one and then I did get another champion t-shirt that was yellow. This the yellow one was $9.99 and it had just like a champion logo on the shoulder area. So that's the two t-shirts that I got from TJ Maxx. Yeah, TJ Maxx. And then this other item that I got from TJ Maxx is this jumper hoodie. I'd say yeah, it's a hoodie. Um it is a Polaroid one. Oh, it's really creased, right? Sorry. I have worn this one. It is a Polaroid one and it has like colourful stripes and then it has colourful checks down the side, which I really like. Um, there was a choice of black and white in this one. I would have preferred the white, but they didn't have my size and plus makeup, so don't want to ruin it. But I do really like the black. So this one was $19.99, I think. I brought this one, yeah. No, $19.99. Yeah, nineteen ninety nine in dollars. So, love that one. And then the f oh, oops. the final jumper that the final the final hoodie that I brought was from Forever Twenty One. Forever Twenty One. I think it was Forever Twenty One. I'll just have a look in the label. Yeah, Forever Twenty One. So it's just this huge yellow hoodie, and then it has some black checks down the sleeves very similar to the polaroid one actually and i've worn this one and i love it it's so soft and because it's so big and baggy it's just really snuggly and nice um this one was 24 dollars i think or 25 dollars it was around that and i got this one again in a bigger size so it would fit me nicely that is all the clothing items so if you're here for the clothing items, uh, that's it. I didn't spend a lot of my money on clothes. Oh, and we've got souvenirs as another um, category as well. So I think next up we're going to do... Um, as they're right there, we'll do like souvenir bits. So the first souvenir item I got, if you've watched my vlog, then you'll know that I brought this. Go check it out if you haven't. Uh, this is the Statue of Liberty replica uh, it's a seven inch one um this was originally supposed to be 30 dollars but if you brought two you got the second one 15 so aaron my friend got his 30 and then mine was only 15 i'll just show you it it's just like that i haven't taken out the package yet but because i wanted to film this video so i've like kept everything i haven't even used any of the makeup and i've kept everything in the boxes just waiting to film this video and I think it's really cute and it says Statue of Liberty down here and it's quite weighty so it's not just like a cheap plastic one that you get from like a 
a souvenir store. And I actually brought that from the Statue of Liberty shop on the island. I also brought my dad a Statue of Liberty mug and my mum a tote bag because, um, and they're all from the Statue of Liberty shop. I also brought my nan a magnet, but I won't be able to get that out as it's still in the wrapper. Yeah, this is the box the mug came in. And then I think it's, yeah, it just has the magnet in, but it's all wrapped up, so I won't show you that. Oh my God, I'm actually stuck to my chair. Whoa, I was stuck to my chair then. Okay, and I also picked up this little postcard of the Statue of Liberty for my little postcard collection. Oh yeah, and this magnet for myself. It's like a metallic Statue of Liberty one. It's really weighty, so it's like a expensive one. And then this is, I don't regret purchasing this because it's still a souvenir and that stuff. I got swept up in the moment, let's say. So we went to this flower, fabric flower factory. Like they, it was a family run business. They'd been in the business for like a hundred years, I think, if I remember rightly. And they're called Custom Fabric Flowers, if I, th I think so. And they make um, fabric flowers. So I got wrapped up in the moment and brought a few. So this one, this one's $5. Um, and it's like, no idea what flower it's called or anything, but it's just this little cute one with some sequins on, and then it has a little like safety pin at the back so you can attach it to stuff. That was only $5. Then we got this one, for, we got one for free. We could pick any, like any one out of this little bucket. So I picked this little tiny one up with a little hair clip on the back. And then this one's the one I spent $15 on. Yep, don't regret it though, because it's nice to say I brought this fabric flower in New York, I guess. Um, this is like a rose. Uh, so I picked up this flower. So that's the fabric flowers that I got. I think a lot of people got wrapped up in the moment and brought some fabric flowers, like, cause we were never gonna go there again, let's be honest. So that's all the souvenirs done. I didn't buy any more. The next thing we're gonna go on to is sweets. Now I brought a lot of snacks, like sweets and chocolates. On the last day, I haven't even eaten these yet. I just haven't fancied them. So we went to the Hershey's store and I was just looking for some like, you know, the Jolly Ranchers. And we couldn't see them, we couldn't find them anywhere. And then we went in the Hershey's store and they were there. So I picked up a lot of stuff from the Hershey's store. It's not all for me. If you're watching and you know that you have a sweet present, you'll see it here, but I'm not gonna tell you which one's yours. First up, my favorite ever American sweets, Twizzlers. I absolutely love these. I know some people absolutely hate them, but I love them. I think these are just the best sweets in the world. And, and did you know they're a low fat snack? So I picked up two huge bags of these in the Hershey store. I can't remember how much they were, but they weren't that expensive. That's why I got two. So I've already opened these and had a few while I was setting up the filming. Love them. Oh, I got these in the um, airport. On the way there, I picked up some normal Toblerones and white Toblerones and then just put them in one bag. Um, still got loads left. I don't know why I brought so many sweets. Um, next in the Hershey store, I brought three bags of the Hershey's Kisses because it was like three for 12, $12, I think. So I picked up some cookies and cream ones and then a bag of milk chocolate for myself. And then there's some milk chocolate down here. Here's some milk chocolate for someone else. But I won't say who because they might be watching the video. I picked up this bag of Three Musketeers minis. I tried the big bars and they were delicious. But I picked up these for someone else, not me. I actually got these in Target, not Hershey's. I, we went to a Target and I found them because I was looking for them all week for a specific person. And then, finally, I picked up three big bags of the Jolly Ranchers hard candies. These are big bags. I gave one to my family just to share between them and then i've got two here one of them i think's for someone else and then i've got one for myself but i just don't fancy sweets at the moment i didn't even eat that many in new york which was a surprise so 
got my Twizzlers though. I do love a good Twizzler. And now we're on to my favourite part, the makeup. I basically went to New York for the makeup. I wanted to try the, I wanted to go to Sephora. We didn't get a chance to go to Ulta, which I'm so upset about, but oh well. I brought makeup in three places, the airport, Sephora, and TJ Maxx. Oh, and Target, okay. I brought makeup in four places. I got a huge Sephora bag, not that big, not as big as some people's, but it's bigger. I got two actual bags because I went in there twice. So I'll start with what I brought at the airport and we'll do it by shop. So at the airport, I picked up the full size Urban Decay setting spray or the all nighter setting spray. Favorite setting spray ever. I've only ever had the travel size, but I thought it was time to splash the cash since I was going to New York. So I picked up a full size, which I'm really excited to use. I still got a little bit of my travel size left, so I will use that before I start the setting, before I start the full size one. And then I also picked up this Hula Light in the airport. Um, I have the little mini and it's nearly running out and I love it so much. So I treat myself to a full size one because I never buy the full size benefit product. I've only ever got the big hula and the hula, the original hula is too dark for me. So I splashed the cash. I was going to get Coralista, I think the name is as well. But I thought, chill out, Lucy. You're not in New York yet. Stop spending the money. So I only picked up two things in the airport. Um, and now we'll go on to... TJ Maxx, I think. So, in TJ Maxx, I picked up this Physician's Formula Bronze Booster. Um, I wanted to try Physician's Formula, but I couldn't find it anywhere. Like, I wanted to try the Butter Bronzer, and I couldn't find it, but I have a story for you in a second. But this is what I got in TJ Maxx. So, I got a bronzer, the same bronzer for my friend Katie, and I picked up one for myself, because I couldn't leave a bronzer. And then I got another bronzer for myself from a physician's formula, which is called Argon Wear, and it's new apparently. But it was in TJ Maxx, so I'm not sure. It might be just old packaging. And then I got this physician's formula blusher. Ah, uh, this looks so pretty. That's the blusher. It looks so pretty. It's like a, it's like a very light pink with like gold glitters in. I will just give you a close up of the bronzers as I did show you the blusher so this is the a close-up of the bronzer it has like a very shimmery golden part in the middle and then matte all around and then this bronzer has like a little pink circle in the middle which is really cute and it's very shimmery this one I love the little design in it as well that's really cute but that's the bronzers I picked up from TJ Maxx. I could have gone wild in there. I'm telling you now, I, I could have gone wild in TJ Maxx. But I kept my cool and didn't spend too much. I spent quite a bit, but not too much. And, oh, don't even get me started. I've got a story time for you right now. So, this the cashier man at TJ Maxx let down, ruined my time in New York because... I don't know if he was a manager because he wasn't wearing like a uniform. He was wearing like his own clothes with like the neckband, like the, I don't know, the lanyard thing. So he might have been like a manager or someone. And I walked up with my bag, my basket of all my makeup and some clothes, obviously the clothes that I showed you. And I've never seen or heard such a rude man. He didn't even acknowledge I was there. He picked up my basket. I think he's really mad. He picked up my basket, so I'd shout into another one of his like colleagues about a funny story I had to tell him later. And I was just like, hello, are you gonna speak to me? And I was like, oh, maybe he just, maybe he's not speaking. So I was waiting and then he started picking up my makeup, these bronzers and throwing them, like not even like being careful with them at all. He'd pick them up out the basket, throw them onto the desk and scan them and throw them into a bag. Like, I'm not even joking. It was not even a subtle throw. It was like a full on throw. And I was like, I'll just look at him like, excuse me, I'm going to about to pay for that. Don't like, I was terrified he smashed some of the stuff. Um, I'll show you the last thing I got and then I'll finish the story. So the last thing I got from um, TJ Maxx is a subculture palette by Urban, by, Urban, by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I wanted to try the subculture and see if it's as bad as everyone was saying. 
So I wasn't going to pay full price for it as I, the drama, we know the drama with the subculture palette. So I picked up TJ Maxx for $19.99 um, and I'm excited to try it to see if it is as bad as people say it is. I do really love the colours and I've swatched a few. I know finger swatches don't mean anything, but I swatched a few and they swatch quite good, like the shimmers, apart from this one up here doesn't swatch very good, but the other two shimmers swatch good. Um, and I love the brushes that come with the Anastasia palette, so I'm really excited to try that. And it adds to my little eyeshadow palette collection from Anastasia. So yeah, he threw this into the bag, and I was into the bag, and I was like, I'm gonna have to check to make sure that isn't smashed. And he still didn't—he still hasn't spoke to me at this point. And then he didn't even tell me the price of everything. He literally just pointed at the card machine, and I was just like, Excuse me the heck and then i was like oh i'll oh, i'll be nice maybe he's having a bad day thanks and then he started shouting at his colleague again like in a really happy mood and i was like you could have at least paid me attention and then so after i brought all this makeup i walked out of the store we went to a few other shops so we were like 40 minutes away at this point we couldn't go back to tj maxx i looked in my bag and he didn't even scan my lip gloss didn't even scan the lip gloss that i really wanted i actually thought it was in my bag and it was definitely in the basket. I saw him get it out, throw it, and I thought he put it in the bag, but he didn't. So he ruined my whole TJ Maxx experience, to be honest, because I was really excited for that lip gloss. It was like an Anastasia one, and it was only like $6. So I was like, I'll bargain, I'll get it. Mm, no, didn't end up getting it because of the man at the counter. So if you work in New York, TJ Maxx, and you see this video, you've got really poor customer service, and I'm not okay with that. A little eyeshadow palette for my little sister Rosie as well. It was like a unicorn mermaid one. But I don't have that to show you as I've already given it to her. But yeah, that was a bit of a bad story time. But oh well, moving on. Still got the makeup, half the makeup I wanted. So we're going to go on to what I got in Urban Outfitters now. So Nikita actually brought me this. Because when I found out my lip gloss was not in the bag, I got quite upset. I didn't get, I didn't cry, which you probably expect from me. But I had a little bit of a meltdown. And then, so Nikita, how cute. She brought me this little BH Cosmetics blue liquid eyeshadow. I have the gold and the orange. And so she picked me up the blue one, which is really cute. So thank you, Nikita, for that. We'll move on to Target now. So on the last day, the final day of shopping, we had like 10 minutes left of shopping in New York. And we went to Target. And I finally found the butter bronzer. And I really wanted to get my friend Katie this instead of the other bronzer that I did get her. But $15, what? And I had no money left at the point because I'd spent it all. So I picked myself up one, sorry Katie. Um, and I also picked myself up a Milani, blu Mil Milani blush because it's cheaper obviously to buy it in American dollars than English, do English pounds. Um, and I really wanted to try these blushes for ages and it was just there in front of me instead of like buying it online from Beauty Bay. So I was like, oh, may as well buy it now. And so this was $8, this one. And then finally, we've got my Sephora haul. So I spent about $210 overall in Sephora. So I'll show you what I got. It doesn't look like much, but it is. So I picked up the YSL foundation. Um, I went in there basically and said to one of the Sephora ladies who was so helpful and kind, so much better customer service than TJ Maxx, but not talking about the drama again. Um, yeah, and I was like, what's your favourite foundation or what's the best foundation? And she was like, YSL. And I was like, okay, and she tested it on me and we found my right skin, we found my right colour. And I was like, mm, I've heard of it. And a lot of people I know don't like it. So I was a bit like, it was a bit of a risk. But I tried it out and I absolutely love it. I'm wearing it now mixed in with the Estee Lauder Double Wear because I, it was expensive and I don't really use it all. But anyway, it's a really good mix, the Estee Lauder and this. They're both really full coverage. So I'm, I'm blinding you with the packaging. So I'll just show you the little bottle. I think it's such a cute bottle. But it was so expensive, it was $54. I was like, oh God. But I can't refuse her now, because the lady was so good. And not that I felt pressured, but like she spent time showing me what foundation and like testing it out. So I was like, I'll get it. And I'm in New York, so I may as well try out a new foundation. And I'm glad I did, because I absolutely love it. I did a little wear test in the vlog. I don't know if you've seen, but I tried to do a little wear test and I didn't actually speak about the foundation. 
again. I think I mentioned it like once, but it was good. It wore, it obviously came off by the time I was home, home because obviously I was traveling for like 12 hours and it didn't stay on for all the 12 hours, but it stayed on for a lot of them and looked really good for a lot of them. The next thing I got in Sephora was this Tarte Rainforest of the Sea mini setting spray. As I was going to the till, I seen this and I wanted to pick up something Tarte. So I was like, oh, pick it up. Haven't tried it out yet, but excited to try that. And the bottle is really cute. So here's the bottle. You've probably seen this before, a lot of you, but it is a really cute bottle and I'm excited to try that. In the like last few months, I got really into setting sprays because I picked up another setting spray. I picked up the travel size of the Hangover 3-in-1. I got the actual primer of it and I absolutely adore that primer. It is my favourite primer ever. Um, so I picked up the setting spray. I obviously picked up only the mini as I do get all the minis. Like the, I do try out the travel sizes before with setting sprays as they are quite expensive, a lot of them. And I have quite a few, so I picked up the travel size to give it a go. And I'll let you know how I find this and the Tarte one. And then I picked up, I had to, everyone goes to Sephora and picks up a face mask. So I picked up a face mask. This one is the grape one. And um, I'm probably not going to use it for a while as it is from Sephora and you can't get them in the UK. So I'm going to probably save it for my collection and maybe use it one day in the future, but not now. Um, and I love that they had so many different colours. Like they had the pink ones, the yellow ones. So I picked up the grape one. And then I picked up this little gift, which I am really excited to use. Oh, that was a bit over the top, sorry. Um, it's this little Fenty gift set. I haven't tried anything from Fenty Beauty. Like, I tried my friend's foundation, but obviously she wasn't my colour. So it looked a bit weird on me. But I picked up a this little highlighting gloss duo because I know everyone loves the gloss. And I didn't want to buy the full size one as I'm not, I have so many lip glosses already that I didn't need another one. But because it had the Kilowatt highlighter in it as well, I wanted to try it. And I think this is a really good set for like what you're getting. You're getting two mini products. It was $23, but don't quote me on the prices of these because I'm not too sure. But I think I paid $23 for this, which is pretty good as the full size one of this is 18 and I didn't want to get the full size of each so this is just the gloss i might put a bit on over the top of my jeffrey liquid lip oh it smells really good oh that's a really pretty gloss obviously this isn't the full color as obviously i've got a liquid lip underneath but i really like that and then it also comes with this little kilowatt highlighter, which is beautiful. I absolutely love this highlighter. And I think it will be okay on my skin tone and not too dark as long as I use it subtly, I guess. But I'll give you a swatch because it is gorgeous. Absolutely. Oh, look. At See, that's blinding. I love that. So that is something that I'm really excited to use, like try out properly. I know we can get Fenty in the UK, but I've never had an excuse to buy it. Like, so like, I have so many other things that I want to buy. And so it was a good chance to try something new out. Look at that swatch as well. Love that. Going back to my bag. Got this little perfume sample, I guess, for spending a lot of money in there. I haven't tried it out yet, but it'll look cute with my little collection of perfume samples. I picked up a Sephora blush because it has Sephora on. And it's like, I wanted to get something that you definitely couldn't get in the UK. And you can't get a Sephora blush in the UK. So, I don't think so anyway. And so, I picked up a Sephora blush in this nice orangey colour. As I do love orange blushes. And have a bit of an obsession with blushes at the moment. Like, I don't even wear it that much. Like, as you can see, I've got a little bit on. But I don't wear it every day. And... So I got a little obsession with blushes and I'm really excited to have a Sephora blush in my collection. Oh, this is really exciting. I picked up the Norvina palette. I have been wanting this for absolutely ages since it came out. As soon as I saw it online, I was like in love with it. And I was like, come on, you see, treat yourself. You're in New York again. You may as well pick it up now. And so I picked it up. 
this is the so this is the novena by anastasia beverly hills and it just has the most beautiful colors ever it has purples pinks it's like mustard color i really like here it has like a whole row of like glittery shimmers and i've seen a lot of people don't like the texture of these but i've swatched a few as you can see and by the feel of them i quite like them so now i've got three anastasia beverly hills eyeshadow palettes so i'm kind of going to build the collection and get them all i think as they're such good quality eyeshadows and they just look so pretty with like the velvet packaging so really excited i got this and i'm so excited that i'll be able to try it now i've done this video because this has all been in the sephora bag so i haven't had chance to put it in my collection and like actually use it yet so i'll be able to if you want a review of this or the subculture let me know i know it's like two years late with subculture but and novena to be honest but if you want a review let me know or i show a look i'm gonna use the subculture in a video remember i said that i'd test out the um revolution one and then the subculture one to see if there's any difference because i picked it out for cheap so if you want that video let me know because I'm, I'm probably going to film it anyway but oh and then my the final thing that i brought and the final thing in my haul oh no not the final thing the final makeup item in my haul is this natasha denona mini sunset palette and i'm so excited about this i've wanted to try natasha denona eyeshadows for so long because tatty reviewed them and she like talks about them a lot and i was like i need to try them they look so beautiful and then I looked at the price, like this was like two years ago, I looked at the price, I was like, huh, I can't afford that, what the heck, it was like $200 for an eyeshadow palette, and I was like, eh, would love to try it, but can't afford it, so it, I went to the back of my mind for a while, and then they brought out that tropical, not the tropical, I think it was a tropical palette or something like that, I was like, oh, it's so beautiful, I really, really want it, and then, um, but obviously I still couldn't afford it, so when I was in New York, I see that they did this little tiny mini palette, so this would be a way to try out the eyeshadows before I splash the cash on a big palette. So this was only $25, which isn't that bad. It's just $5 for each shade. And the colours are really beautiful. And so far from the swatches, good quality. So I'm going to test this out and then um, if I do like the shadows, maybe save up and get a full, um, a big palette. But how cute, it's the most cutest thing ever. And it's just like special because I brought it in New York. So that's why I got that. I'll just pop everything back into the bag. I really need to start putting this out in my collection and my drawers, but I'll leave it. I'll leave it in the bag for now. Oh my God, I'm dropping everything. Drama. Somehow it looks like more now that I've so that's all the makeup I got and then before I end this video I will show you one last thing that I brought probably one of my favorites so I brought you're gonna get blinded by the light but I brought these glasses from forever 21 I absolutely adore them they may not be everyone's cup of tea but I love them um so I got these from forever 21 for like ten dollars I think and they're just these yellow heart glasses and I just think they're so cool um yeah so that's the last thing in my haul oh my eyes have gone weird now yeah so that's the last thing in my haul anyway i really enjoyed new york and i hope you enjoyed today's video let me know if you love haul videos because i absolutely love filming them and buying stuff so it's a hauls are good for my videos before i end this video don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this comment down below your favorite thing from the haul and if you've got any turn on the notification bell so you never miss another video of mine I'm going to be uploading more regularly now I'm back from New York. Sorry, I had a, sorry I've been ill, had a bit of a break. But I will be uploading regularly from now on. Thank you for watching.